what's going on guys, it's Artie. I'm back again doing more videos. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for dropping off the face of YouTube. The reason being was that, one, I was busy, two, um, but you really don't want to hear that. Uh, and two, I'm trying to find new ways to actually approaching these, these tutorials. I want to be able to explain it. Um, I've been looking at other videos on YouTube, the way people uh, do tutorials, and I want to be able to um, do it in sort of the new YouTube fashion. So this video has been requested a lot. And by a lot, I mean I've gotten a lot of emails and a lot of messages on YouTube. And, but specifically, this re this video was requested by Greg504405. Um, Greg, thanks for the, um, the idea for making this video. And he asked, can you do a tutorial for double chords? Now, a lot of people utilize military batons with one chord, but some people like using two chords. And what I mean by two chords is, bam. You see here we have two chords on the military baton rather than opposed to one chord. Now the thing is that two chords is sort of a personal taste. I, I personally like to perform or spin my baton with one chord. I feel that simplicity is best, but some people like the feel of two chords on the baton and they, al they actually also like the look of four tassels. So after this tutorial, you guys can know how to tie two chords on a baton. But before you watch the tutorial, I recommend you watch the um, my first tutorial on chord on basic chord tying. So you get an idea on what I'm talking about. Most of this te technique that I'm teaching you guys uh, derives from the single chord tying. So if you haven't had a chance, go ahead and watch that video first before you watch this video. Okay, so I got my baton, I got my yellow chords, and I've got my green chords. Now a little thing I want to mention about chords is that usually if you're going to get two chords in your baton, if you order your baton with two chords on them, they will always be the same length. Now, if you have a set of, if you ordered a baton, if you have a baton with chords in it, and you order a set of chords um, later on, chances are if you've been tying and untying your chords, um, you're, you've actually stretched out the chords that you're on your that are on your baton, and they will end up longer than the new chords you just ordered. So, um, you'll notice that. Um, my green chords are actually longer than my yellow chords, and um, I'll show you how to get around that. Okay, like in the last video, you want to make sure you go down the chords and make sure that there are no tangles or any um, significant bunches or knots in the chords. So what I like to do with double chords, I'm going to start off with holding two tassels in one hand. I'm just going to go straight down, straight down the chords just to make sure that my, tass my chords are not tangled. And you can see here, there's a tangle. Get that done. So yeah, uh, here you can see here that the green chord is significantly longer than the um, the the yellow chord. So how to get around that is I want to make it even on both sides. So what I'll do is I'll pull it, um, the yellow chord down. So therefore you can somehow get somewhat matching uh, tassel length on both sides. See that, oh, you can't really tell, but um, not really much, but make sure that you just want to get it as even as possible, as matching on both sides as possible. Okay, now that you have your chords evened out, you probably want to decide which chord goes on top. I like to do the school's primary color on top and the secondary color on bottom. Seeing how my college's um, <clears throat> color, main color was green and the secondary was gold, I'm going to put green on top, gold on bottom. In the last video, you want to make sure that one of the end of the chords is longer than the other, other end of the chords. Now you're going to take, now this is the absolute middle of the chord. I'm going to pull it maybe about a foot. Yeah, maybe about a foot. Foot would be good, about maybe 12 inches. And then, like last time, one end is going to be the, um, the end I just pulled will be known as the long end, and the other end will be known as the short end. Taking the baton, I'm going to take both chords, keeping the green on top, I'm going to take the long end and go around. Pull it tight. Again, I'm going to go all the way around and pull tight, keeping the green on top of the yellow.
is a little tricky for people who are just learning how to do double chords or even just learning how to tie chords, but that's fine here to teach you guys. Now you're going to go around about 13 times. I went one, two, three, four, five. I went five times. So just keep going down, keeping it tight and keeping the uh, primary color on top of the secondary color. Okay, you should have something that looks like this. What you're going to do is the part that you've just been wrapping around is going to go under. The part that's been wrapped over is going to go over. Pull it tight. And then you're going to go into the back and crisscross the back. You're going to do the opposite. You're going to go over under. So one side is going to go over un, um, under over, and the back is going to go um, over under. So it's going to reverse. It's going to switch on the back. Now you're going to keep continuing going all the way down the baton, keeping the keeping the colors the same. So like in here, I have the green on top and the gold on bottom. I want to make sure that the uh, gold always stays on the bottom and the green always stays on top. When going down, you also want to make sure that the spaces stay even all the way down. Okay, if nothing went wrong, you should have something that looks somewhat like this. Crisscrossing all the way down until you get to about I want to say 7 inches before 7 inches before you hit the tip. So, now we're going to start doing the uh, we're going to start securing the cords. So, you're going to take the uh, <clears throat> take one more time here. Um, here. So, we're going to take the here I have now the short end and the long end. I'm going to take the long end and start going around. Just like how we did at the top, we're just going to go around the short end with the long end, keeping the, uh, the same colors, the green on top and the yellow on bottom. Okay, so now we've tied them until the uh, their the tassels are about of e even length. So now you want to secure them with a uh, square knot or a double knot. So we're gonna do we're gonna give one good double knot. Again, you can see my green cords are longer than my um, yellow cords, and I'll show you how to get around that. And one more, one more knot. Let's try that again.
Okay, so now we got our double knot. But as you can see here, the cords, the green cords are really long. They hang way below the, um, the tip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the green cords, I'm going to go to the back, I'm going to crisscross them in the back, and to the front again. Oops. Let's try that again. So I'm going to take the the green cords, crisscross them in the back, the front, try and come above the tip, I mean above the knot. I'm going to tie it again. I'm going to tie it again. It's not going to look pretty, but it'll keep the, um, the uh, tassel from hanging below the tip. So it's still long, so try you can go for another... Actually, we can go to the back and tie it again in the back. And if you want, you can take, see how these are hanging kind of uneven? Take these two and tie them. I know I'm doing a lot of knots, but it's just a way to help secure it and make it look even all the way around. There you go. Doesn't look pretty, but I mean, that's how to get around um, having one cord that is longer than the other cord. If you're, if you usually, if you buy your cords, um, together and if you buy your cords uh, together um, they will come in the same they will come in the uh, the same length so you won't have to worry about this um, this little dilemma here now as a personal tip because I tied my um, cords in weird knots at the bottom it might screw up the balance of the baton so what I like to do is I like to push the cords a little bit higher so therefore I get some sort of appearance of a ferrule and to be able to, um, to fix this bunch of cords I have here, I'm just going to work my way up the cord shaft and make sure, just take my hands and just going to twist around so therefore the cords can become tight on the baton. Just, just, work, just work the cords into, um, just work the cords in so therefore you don't have like a whole bunch of cords on one end. They will, bun they will bunch up eventually, even though if you tie them perfectly, but, um, yeah, just the way so that, you know, you get the appearance of a ferrule at the end. The, the cords will hang above, the, the well above the, uh, the tip. And um, it also, it also um, helps uh, fix the, uh, the balance issue a little bit. So, yeah. I hope that my, uh, this tutorial was helpful to you guys. And hopefully um, you guys can go ahead and learn and know how to tie uh, double cords on a baton. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, Feel free to send me a message, ask away, ask any questions, I'll, I'll try my best to um, answer it. Also, don't forget to subscribe. All you guys, um, you've been following me, um, you guys have been awesome. Thanks for uh, sticking through it, and hopefully I can do more videos, and I'm going to try to put out a video 